Shush. Shut up. You disgusting, pill-popping, sexual deviant scum. I want to do this monologue and then go into hiding, OK? Not even Sean Penn will find me. <laughs> Snitch. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel. With all these rich, beautiful celebrities having the time of their lives. Let's hope no one spoils that. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, I'm going to try and be nice. You're global megastars with amazing talent, most of you. A few of you just married well. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> we, we all do. We all do. <laughs> We're live on NBC, and it's right that NBC hosts this award show because they're the only network who are truly fair and impartial. And that's because they're the only network with zero nominations. <laughs> so... <laughs> nothing in it for them tonight. They don't care who... They don't care, obviously. <laughs> but as I say, I'm going to be nice tonight. I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <laughs> now Caitlyn Jenner, of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> you can't have everything, can you? Not at the same time. Anyway, so <laughs> I am going to be nice tonight, and I'll tell you why. The president of the Hollywood Foreign Press just told me that if I say anything offensive or crass or resort to innuendo, he is going to come out here and personally pull me off. So that's an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the level. An old man pulling me off. <laughs> Again. Um, at least Jeffrey Tambor did it in a dress. Um, what a year he's had. Oh, what an actor, what a role. It, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> Every day, he has to put on all the women's clothes and the hair and makeup and let people film it. That takes balls. So, I don't know how he does it. I really don't. I've seen his balls. They're huge and long. <laughs> I don't know if he tucks them in the bra or does that thing when you push them out the back and let them hang out <laughs> like a bulldog. No one knows. <laughs> I love Jeffrey Tambor. I don't know if that's because he's such a great actor or because he reminds me of my nan. <laughs> One Hollywood publication said that me hosting would mean that some film stars would stay away for fear of being made fun of. As if film stars would stay away from the chance of winning a Golden Globe. Particularly if their film company has already paid for it. So what's happened this last year in this crazy business we called show? The excellent Spotlight has been nominated. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the Catholic Church are furious about the film as it exposes the fact that 5% of all their priests have repeatedly molested children and been allowed to continue to work without punishment. Roman Polanski called it the best date movie ever. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood, and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from people everywhere. There were marches on the street with nurses and factory workers saying, how the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? This is... There were plumbers around the world going, poor girl in town, what's fucking hell? So, but joking aside, of course women should be the, paid the same as men for doing the same job. And I'd like to say now that I'm getting paid exactly the same as Tina and Amy did last year for hosting this. No, I know there was two of them, but it's not my fault if they want to share the money, is it? That's, that's their stupid fault. 
<laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> the Hollywood Foreign Press deemed The Martian a comedy and even nominated it. And hence, Matt Damon is here tonight. So that worked a treat, didn't it? <laughs> to be fair, The Martian was a lot funnier than Pixels. Uh, <laughs> but then again, so was Shinder's List. <laughs> it's just a film. <laughs> All female remakes are the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios, because they get guaranteed box office results, and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So... <laughs> Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> Listen, if you do win tonight, remember that no one cares about that award as much as you do, OK? <laughs> Don't get emotional, it's embarrassing, OK? <laughs> that award is, no offence, worthless. <laughs> it's a bit of metal that some nice old confused journalists <laughs> wanted to give you in person so they could meet you and have a selfie with you, <laughs> OK? That's all it is. I've got three. I've got three Golden Globes myself, so I can say... One's a doorstop. One I used to hit burglars with, and one I keep by the bed to... Doesn't matter why, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. I want it fair and square. It's just the right shape and size. It's nothing... <laughs> yeah, so to be clear, that was a joke about me shoving Golden Globes that I've won up my arse. <laughs> and they asked me to host four times! <laughs> Jesus!